Okay, well, if you're watching this video, it's probably because you want to know about these Derwent Onyx pencils. I, I went and purchased a whole boatload of them, as you can see here. Yes, there is a lot of pencils in here. I'm, I can't remember exactly how much, how many are in here. I think there's over 70 pencils here. And so, you know, clearly it's, you know, at a probably near a buck a piece you know that's that's not cheap so what I wanted to do though is I wanted to address this one pencil right here and that is the dark the Derwent Onyx dark you see it comes comes in two flavors okay it comes in medium as you can see here medium and it comes in comes in dark all right so I already have one that's kind of worn down, so I'm going to go ahead and just use that one. And what I, before we get into it, I want to show you why I would spend any time making a video about the Derwent Onyx Pencil. You see, I went out and I was looking for a very dark pencil because um, I like to do uh, portrait drawing with graphite pencils and I need some dark pencils so that uh, I can make the contrast, um, you know, deeper and the picture can pop. Okay. And you can check out some of my drawings at um, on Instagram. You can even search online, uh, and uh, it should bring you to uh, some site that will give you access to those Instagram drawings if you're interested. But anyway, uh, this is not on drawing itself, but on these pencils. Now, note what it says here on the Blick website. Okay, this is where I bought my pencils, by the way. It says that Derwent Onyx pencils are made from smooth, dark graphite that delivers dense, rich, jet black tones. And I want you to note this part here. Even darker than Derwent's Graphite 9B. Okay, that's this pencil. This is a Derwent Graphic 9B. And near the end of this video, we'll see for ourselves if it really is darker than Derwent's Graphic 9B. I think you'll be surprised at the results. I certainly was, and uh, I had already bought a whole boatload of those pencils. And here's their, what they say at the Derwent site itself. They're Onyx pencils. Feeling moody? Look no further. Derwent Onyx is our blackest graphite pencil even darker than a 9b and here they say even darker than a 9b which is um, it doesn't say our 9b it says 9b so uh, that would apply everybody's 9b but Blick said Dewent's graphic 9b so we'll stick with that okay First off, what I want to do here is I'm going to lay down some value with the dark pencil. Now, normally I'm not going to press really hard on a paper and ruin the tooth of my paper. But to take away any kind of doubt whatsoever, in this case, I'm going to put my, well, I'm going to put my weight into it. Okay, so I am really going to lay down this graphite here. Okay. And seriously though, I I don't think that if you want to go dark that you should have to be pressing into your paper as hard as I am. And this is sketching paper from Canson, by the way. Just as Canson sketching paper. So it's got a nice little tooth to pick up the graphite. This is what you would normally, you know, you can draw on sketching paper, drawing. It's not like, you know, watercolor or anything. Just good old sketching paper. Now, I'm really drilling into this. Seriously, my arm is getting tired. Just, just for the pressure. I'm putting pressure into this thing here. And I'm going over it now with the sharp edge that it made because I wore it down. Because I'm going to get this thing, uh, get this thing as dark as I can get Okay, but I mean, it gets to the point of ugly here because I, I mean, I'm, I'm really, I'm really. Look at that, that glare. Can you see that glare? That's what happens when you press with these, these uh, soft pencils here. And it's, 
and I've I don't know if you can see that but I've put indentations in that paper too I mean I, I, I can't get any darker than that with this pencil right okay now that's your your onyx dark okay and that that's abusive now I'm gonna put it down normal okay so we can do both normal okay and we'll call that abuse that's just that's extreme okay now I'm gonna just put it down this is regular pressure this is where you're putting it down um, you're not letting the pencil just um, rest with its own weight you are actually putting pressure I'm putting pressure on the paper okay but I'm putting normal pressure you know the kind that people would expect if they're going to be checking a pencil and I want you to notice how much different it looks and now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cross hatch okay and you can see I'm getting a little darker because I'm cross hatching I'm filling in the tooth from different angles now we can, let's go in here like so but I'm not destroying the tooth of the paper I don't want to do that when I'm drawing portraits I'm not I don't want to destroy the tooth of my my paper I want that texture to continue and besides it, it just it really messes things up and it causes even more glare problems when you do that all right you can see how much more glare that is because of how hard I press down this would be how I would really want to compare a pencil and this would be normal pressure okay and then you could just keep drawing on top and putting layer upon layer upon layer upon layer just get it to be as dark as you can but you don't want to destroy the tooth of the paper this would be the best test but I wanted to make sure that I did that so they nobody would say well you didn't press hard enough and whatever okay there we go all right this is normal by the way normal and this this is destructo okay because I just I just abused that paper there okay and I would never I mean your five-year-old kid would be doing that you know I mean it's ridiculous all right now let's start and, and this is going to be interesting but I'm gonna I'm gonna take a here is a Dixon Deconderoga okay that's a regular two number two pencil that you would you know give to your kid to go to school with it's like what a five cent ten cent pixel, uh, pencil it's a good pencil by the way if you like um, just for you know everyday writing and, and stuff you can draw with it too I mean there's nothing wrong with drawing with any pencil if it's graphite but um, it's a regular number two they call it an HB but I think that's a, a misnomer because they're actually darker than a drawing HB but anyway here Dixon let's let's see how this compares to the real dark pencil here okay um, let me try normal first normal pressure and then I'll go with destructo pressure okay here's normal pressure okay are you seeing what I'm seeing that's darker all right that's already darker than that that's a number two pencil I'm already darker now let's go destructo <laughs> all right the Dixon wins I'm sorry this 10 cent pencil blows away this dollar pencil this dark Derwent can you believe that uh, yeah that blew my mind too okay here is a Palomino HB pencil Palomino cost me about a dollar sixteen a pencil it's a premium pencil it's made by the folks who make the black wing you know and the black wing 602 really great pencils but you're gonna pay a price for them let's see how that that compares let's do normal pressure just like the Dixon and in both cases they're they're darker than then that Derwent dark and now destructo okay and you can even hear the the sound on how intense I am getting here look at that hmm. HB pencil guys look at that 9b pencil which they claim that 
is not as dark as their onyx dark. Their onyx dark is darker than their 9B. That's what they said. Normal pressure. Uh-huh. Yep, sure. That's a dark pencil. All right. Destructo. That's a dark pencil. Now let me put that right on top of the onyx dark. Who's your daddy? Hmm? Even their 9B is darker than their onyx dark. I, I don't know what those guys are talking about, but um, clearly the onyx dark pencil is not what it is advertised. Dark graphite pencils, wrong.